we'll hear from former Ohio State Senator Nina Turner. She was the senator for Ohio 25th District. She was a former supporter of Hillary Clinton, who then decided to support Bernie Sanders. And if we think about any great movement in this country, we name it. Revolutionary War comes to mind. You know, where the 13 colonies said, and right. I know your listeners know the history of this country. Yes. But they basically said to King George, oh no, we're not going to take this anymore. It's unfair. King George didn't just sit back and say, okay, you can go on your own. No, he put up a fight <laughs> and we had the Revolutionary War. If it weren't for them, the founders, the fighting against, the big powers that be, the status quo, we would not be the United States of America. Let's go to line three. I think line three is Rick. Come on in, Rick. How you and doing? after him, we break. Hola, right. mi compañero Zapatista. How Com- are you? Como estas, mi amigo? Háblame. I want to encourage people not to give up on Bernie. Okay. I'm one of those Latino baby boomers mm-hmm. that is following Bernie. The mm-hmm. likelihood of him becoming the candidate is slim. Now, that said, what I want them to do, the, the followers, not to, to go home and cry, but to continue a movement and, re, and continue to realize their power. I am a pro-life person. I take offense to anyone who calls themselves pro-life and support the death penalty. I take offense to anyone who call themselves pro-life and support what police officers have done to many folks simply because they were scared of folks who looked like yours truly. What we should really be called, what has been standardized as pro-life today, we should be calling those folks anti-choice. Victor, how are you doing today? I am the co-founder of Revolt Against Plutocracy, and we're the originators of the Bernie or Bus Pledge Movement. Short term, we better be looking out for the American citizen and what's in their best interest until we really get off our butts and build a movement where we have a full movement that somebody like a Sanders or somebody who is more a populist can get elected. Speaking to Patrice Colors, who is one of the founders of Black Lives Matters. For folks who are fighting on the side of justice, remember that the Black Lives Matter movement is about the totality of black life. Everything that you've said about radical Islam, at some point in time in our American history, we could have said of some folks as well. Okay. Again, let me, you're let me giving finish. a moral equivocation. No, no, no. It's not a moral equivocation. Yeah. When I go back to issues like slavery... I look and I say, the true stories of slavery, if we were to take a look at the indignities that occurred then, when you talk about only they cut heads off, when you talk about only they cut genitalia off, we must remember that those are the same things that happened to people who looked like me from people to... I, I, no, it is important. I need you to understand this for one specific reason, because... Humanity, and I'm not trying to blame, I do not blame one set of folk in the aggregate. And it's important not to, because once we do that, we, are always, we must always look back into the mirror. We have to go to our Latino brothers and sisters or white brothers and sisters. What I, 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 use, a term, I use a term that I, all the time. I say we have to unite Appalachia, the ghettos and the barrios. I mean, it's it's stereotypical. That's a stereotypical statement, but it gets the point across. And I'll use it in every program. Let's unite the Appalachia, the Barrios, and the Ghettos. And once we do that, we see how much we have in common. And once we see how much we have in common, we can move on. Look, it has been a pleasure speaking to you, my friend.